Look. Look, here's a pine cone. It hasn't been opened up yet. It's got the nuts inside it still. It's a bit sticky, all that sap coming out, that sap. But, um, they will open up. See? If you put them in front of a fire, those blades open up. Those blades open up and the nuts fall out. You can just shake the cones and the nuts will fall out. Easy enough to do. Put them in front of an open fire or um, on top of a stove. See there? There are nuts down in there. There are nuts, pine nuts, stone pine nuts. You've got to crack the shell of the stone pine nut once you get it out there. So we're going to put this in, on the stove or, you know, you've got to watch it, of course, so that it doesn't burn. That's what we've got to do to get the, extract the pine nuts. We've got lots of these whole cones. So uh, it's a good source of pine nuts. You can make your own pesto, can't you, if you're inclined to make do Italian cooking. But the blades will definitely open up with heat and release the pine nuts. How do I turn this thing off? I think I know. Oops, my fingers are sticky now. I'm going to have to wash them with sand soap. There's all resin on my fingers. There are those cockatoos eating pine nuts. Well, we've figured out how to get the nuts out of the pine cones too now. We've figured out how to do it ourselves. So we'll be enjoying pine nuts as well. Go on, have a pine nut then. What you do is you heat up the closed pine nut and the sort of blades of the pine nut come open, releasing the nuts. That's what happens. You can put them in front of an open fire or you can sort of heat them on a stove. There are plenty of YouTube videos about how to extract the pine nuts, uh, pine nuts from the cone. That cone there is closed. It's not open yet. That cone there is closed. There's no use going to an open pine cone and expecting to find nuts really because the cockatoos would have got them already. Listen to that wind. I'll be blown away. I'll be blown away. Why long water is so pretty, isn't it? That's Acacia cardiophylla. Very beautiful, very tough, quite drought resistant. One of the most drought resistant ones. And that's a Shia casuarina tree. That tree will attract black, black cockatoos, that one will. Black cockatoos like that tree. Glossy black is their official name, I think. Glossy black cockatoos. Unfortunately, I haven't planted enough of them. It's springtime. It's springtime. That's a beautiful white colour in springtime. Hello cockatoo. 
Aren't you lovely? You're enjoying the spring sunshine as well.